But when I told Nadri on the phone I was making two burgers and that's what I was having for dinner for this mukbang. She said, you gonna eat two of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. I can eat two. gorgeous gastronomes and vampires welcome to t-rex steel city mukbang where will this food journey take you today pull up a seat let's eat hey guys how you doing today it's wagyu beef cheeseburgers today guys i have two that is all i'm having two wagyu beef cheeseburgers i want to thank all my subscribers first of all i love you guys and you know it and to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Boom. Look at that. Am I going to eat both of these? I'm sure going to try. Look. That's why I don't have any french fries or anything else. No peppers, nothing. Just this and an adult beverage because I deserve it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going back on the wagon tomorrow, guys. Yeah, I'm going to cleanse tomorrow. So, you know, have a little beer today. Let's see how look at that. Which one should I start with? I'm going to start with the one that looks like I already took a bite out of it, but I didn't. The bread broke off. So, yeah. Mm. Look, guys. That Wagyu beef... <clears throat> Look at that Wagyu beef. <laughs> I'm just being silly now. <laughs> I'm just being silly. You know, I can't help myself sometimes. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So what I have on here is toasted bun mayo, raw onions, lettuce, tomato. I have onions in the burger that I put in there, cooked pickles, mustard ketchup. My. Mm. That is all beverage of the day. Southern Tier IPA. They're trying to, they're trying to psych me out with the Commodore Perry. A little store that I used to go to to buy beer all the time. When I was buying beer. They would make sure that the Commodore Perry was fresh. And what I mean is, they would not carry beer that was out of date because they knew I was coming to buy it. And if this type of beer, this IPA, if this India Pale Ale beer goes past its date, I 
It's a wrap. It tastes horrible. If you're an IPA drinker and you didn't know that, always check the date on the IPAs. Always. It matters. Even if the expiration date is tomorrow, I wouldn't buy it. Because the shelf life on it has kicked. Okay. I only know about the IPA. Because that's what I drink. Some IPAs have a longer shelf life. Did a little research. Found out that some IPAs don't last more than six months. And some don't last even 90 days. Which Commodore Perry is one that doesn't last past 90 days. Doesn't last past 60 days. I had to argue with the guy a little bit. I'm like, look, dude, you know I was just here. You know I just left the store. You're the one that waited on me. I went home. I tried to open the beer. It tastes horrible. I even brought you back the open beer. So you can see, there's there wasn't even this much gone from it. You know? <laughs> there wasn't even that much gone from it. It's getting hot in here, guys. I gotta take these off. It all of a sudden started burning up in here. Could be the beer. But yeah. He said he had to call his boss. I'm like, go ahead. I got time. I'll wait. Call him. Because I'm not leaving here without A, my money, <laughs> or B, another six-pack of something free. <laughs> One or the other. It's your choice. So, <laughs> it's that simple, dude. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they didn't really have anything else I wanted that day, so he gave me my money back. There's no difference between that, selling someone outdated beer, and selling them spoiled milk. There's no difference. None. So, there shouldn't even be a discussion. You can clearly see. I bought you everything back. All the bottles. Even the open one. And you can pull up your camera. In case you forgot. I was just here 20 minutes ago. You can pull up your camera and check. <laughs> so after that time. I always remember Check my IPA dates. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I'm on a whole different subject now. I'm switching. I'm switching subjects because I just thought of something. Last night. Now remember... Remember when I had the issue with the stink bug while I was on the last move bomb? Remember that, okay? Well, that same night, that same night, laying in bed, talking to Najri on the phone,
Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> a stink bug out of nowhere flies up and hits the ceiling. While I'm in bed, relaxed. Nodding out. You know what I mean? Nodding out. Feeling great. Had my boo on the phone. You know what I mean? I'm feeling good. Had my boo on the phone. Mm -hmm. But this stink bug flies out of nowhere, hits the ceiling. I start screaming. She said I was man screaming. <laughs> All I remember was throwing the phone and cussing out the stink bug on the ceiling. That's all I remember. She said I was man screaming. I believe it because I can't scream. I don't have that shrill... Blood curdling girly scream. I don't have that. I don't have that. It's more like, ah! I can't help it. It's not my fault. I couldn't scream like a girl if someone paid me. I just can't. I don't have that. I don't have that. Never did. But anyway. Threw that phone down. I had to go get my little step stool. I tried to snatch it off the ceiling with a piece of toilet paper. Like I always do. That's what I do. Go get the toilet paper, get the step stool, get up there, snatch it down off the ceiling. For whatever reason, last night, I missed. Snatched it in that paper, I thought, but I saw it drop down. So I started screaming again because I knew I lost it. Didn't know where it was. I started doing all that. <laughs> Get ready to come out my clothes and everything. I, mean, I only had on pajamas anyway. But I was going to start peeling them off. Shaking like, ah, trying to, where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Tell me why. When I start kicking my foot, kicking my foot and shaking, that thing flew off my foot. It was on my foot. It was on my foot. You hear what I'm saying? Do you hear me? The stink bug was on my foot. Yes, like touching me. Like touching me. Touching me. I lost it. Completely. When I shook it, you know, it flew off the, my foot. It was still on the floor, thank goodness. I was able to take that toilet paper, snatch them up off the floor, and flush them down the toilet. I'll tell you what. I can't take that. 
<laughs> I can't take it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it doesn't look like the stink bugs are going anywhere. I don't think they're going anywhere. So. I might start buying some Raid or something like that. Cause that trying to grab them with the with the toilet paper thing, it's getting it's, it's starting to be traumatizing. Mhm. Mm it's starting to be traumatizing. So. <clears throat> I want to say one thing right now. Mm, I love mustard. No, that wasn't it. That's not what I wanted to say. What I want to say right now. I'm going to try to start in the second burger. But when I told Nadri on the phone I was making two burgers and that's what I was having for dinner for this mukbang. She said, you gonna eat two of those? Well, baby, I'm getting full. You were right. Here, you take a bite for me because you were right. I'm full. But I'm good for a few more bites. Couple more. This one. This one I just took it one more. Man, that's good. That's good. I probably would have been able to do it if I wasn't drinking something as filling as this. I don't know what I was thinking about. I really don't know what I was thinking about. All I know is I'm loving it. And I'm tapping out. So with that said, peace out my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.